Hi everyone and thanks for watching PsyQ. This week I've been doing some research on does acupuncture work and I'm going to be honest, when I started my research I was like, no, absolutely not, it's not part of medical science. But it turns out I was wrong. Acupuncture does actually lead to improved health outcomes, but the reasons why might surprise you. At least 3,000 studies into the efficacy of acupuncture have been completed in the last few decades. People have struggled to do good studies because you can't really have a control group in acupuncture. You've got to lie someone down on the table and stick them with needles. How do you have a control group where you lie them on the table and don't stick them with needles? They'll know that they're part of the control group and that means we can't have a study. But scientists have been very sneaky and they've done things like have a acupuncture group over here and then the control group is simply an untrained person sticking people randomly with needles. It turns out acupuncture is better than nothing when it comes to treating things like chronic pain or depression. But surprisingly, acupuncture is no better than a random person sticking you with needles. As long as we have that hour of time where that person feels like they're being cared for and and being valued and being listened to, the health outcomes are the same. This suggests that the reason acupuncture works is strongly linked to the placebo effect. People aren't actually getting a medical treatment, but they feel like they are and so they get better. What's interesting is that the improvement in our health that we see when we have acupuncture is very similar to the improvement in our health we see when we go through counseling. So it seems like that it's not the medical treatment, the actual sticking in of the needles that does anything, but it's the care and the consideration and the listening that helps us get better. This has really fascinating implications for scientists, but it also says a lot about our medical system. Most people, when we get sick and we go to the doctor, we get to see a physician for somewhere around seven minutes. Now, this is barely enough time to explain what's going wrong, let alone be thoroughly examined and have treatment options explained to us. On the other hand, acupuncture sessions can be about an hour, which means we get more one-on-one -on -one time with someone we see as an authority and a medical figure. We feel cared for, we feel listened to, and that could explain some of the reasons why we get better. So what should we take from this? Is there a way that we can take these positive health effects that we get from acupuncture and therapy and start including them in the mainstream medical system? Obviously any medical treatment is going to be expensive, but the results are real. Having that time with a trained medical professional who cares for us actually makes us better. As a society, we really need to put an economic value on care, on having someone that cares about us and is compassionate towards our needs and willing to listen to us. Studies suggest that the improved health outcomes alone would be of a huge economic value to our society as a whole. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.